Pat Brown's father, Edmund Joseph Brown, was known for running scams and gambling operations in San Francisco. With the help of businessman William Newsom II, Pat Brown became governor of California for two terms. During his governorship, he awarded the Squaw Valley concession contract to William Newsom III and his partner, John Pelosi. The deal was criticized for the state of California paying for everything and getting nothing. William Newsom III grew up with the governor's son, Jerry, who was training to be a Jesuit priest. John Pelosi's son, Paul, married Nancy D'Alessandro, daughter of Thomas D'Alessandro Jr., who was known for smuggling heroin into the U.S. with Lucky Luciano and the Baltimore Mafia. John Pelosi's son, Ron, married William Newsom's daughter, Barbara. Over ongoing disputes about the Squaw Valley concession, William Newsom Sr. threatened to hurt the governor politically, just as Governor Brown was running for a third term against Ronald Reagan. He lost. But eight years later, the former governor's Jesuit son, Jerry, reclaimed the governorship in 1974. He appointed William Newsom III to a Placer County judgeship in 1975, and three years later, to the State Court of Appeal. William Newsom was an attorney for oil magnate J. Paul Getty, named in the 1966 Guinness Book of World Records as the world's richest private citizen. And while serving on the appellate bench in the 1980s, he helped Getty's son, Gordon, secure a change in state trust law that allowed him to claim his share of a multi-air trust. After Newsom retired from the bench, he became administrator of the Getty Trust and provided seed money for his son, Gavin Newsom, Nancy Pelosi's nephew, to start the Plump Jack business that led to a career in San Francisco politics as mayor of San Francisco and lieutenant governor of the state of California. Gavin Newsom was informally adopted by the Gettys after his parents divorced, and recently succeeded family friend Jerry Brown to be the current governor of California. For 80 years, these four families have ruled over the state of California politically. And with the help of Kamala Harris, Maxine Waters, Adam Schiff, and Dianne Feinstein, California's uncontrollable state government spending has amounted to over $2 trillion in debt and the highest tax rates in the country. The homelessness population is on the rise so much that a typhus outbreak has reached epidemic levels. Thousands of needles from illicit drugs litter the streets. They have made California a sanctuary state. They have been steadily chiseling away at the Second Amendment. They have passed laws for mandatory vaccinations. And they continue to aggressively oppose our president on every front. On October 1st, 2016, right before Donald Trump won the election, President Obama transferred full control of the internet from the U.S. government to an independent California nonprofit organization. In a cyber war scenario, the U.S. government may not have control over the internet, even if it secures military and government domains and IP addresses. The targets in cyber warfare are likely to be civilian, and the U.S. government requires private sector infrastructure to operate. Since the internet underpins our computer systems, electrical grids, communication systems, and other critical infrastructure, our entire civilian society could be at risk. Who controls California? Who controls the four families? What is a republic? 